Hi, I'm Bob DeLamartre. Today's key concept discussion concerns no-fault auto insurance. As you know, the tort liability system, which is based on fault, is the most common method of seeking compensation for injured auto accident victims in the United States. No-fault auto insurance is an alternative way of compensating these same victims. A key feature of the no-fault system is an injured party does not need to establish fault and prove negligence in order to collect payment for damages. It is therefore first party coverage as the injured party collects from their own insurance carrier. In addition, many no-fault laws place restrictions on the injured party's right to sue negligent drivers who cause accidents. This is, of course, why they call it no-fault insurance. So why were no-fault laws established, you might ask? Well, good question. They were developed in response to the costly and time-consuming process of determining liability under the tort system. Since under the no-fault system, the injured party does not need to prove responsibility, these laws allow victims to receive benefits much sooner. Also, because no-fault laws limit the number of lawsuits from auto accidents, the burden on the court systems is significantly reduced. Roughly half of the states in the U.S. have no-fault laws. In most instances, the no-fault laws are mandated and often referred to as Personal Injury Protection, or PIP, P-I-P for short. There are four basic types of no-fault laws. First of all, there are pure no-fault plans. Pure no-fault systems abolish the use of tort liability system for auto injuries uh, resulting uh, in bodily injury. Uh, and, however, because uh, it is argued by some that this system uh, unfairly eliminates the right for certain types of legal action, uh, no state has yet uh, enacted pure no-fault laws because they feel they're just too strict and limiting. Secondly, we have modified no-fault plans. Roughly half of the states that have no-fault laws have this type of plan which places some restrictions on the right to sue at fault drivers but, but does not entirely eliminate that right. In this case, injured motorists can sue if their damages exceed a threshold stated by the law. States may have a monetary threshold of $5,000, for instance. The next no-fault laws are called add-on plans. Add-on plans. As the name applies, these plans add no-fault benefits to auto policies. They differ from modified no-fault plans, however, in that they place no restrictions on the injured party's right to sue negligent drivers for damages. The last type of no-fault law that we're going to discuss is called choice, choice no-fault plans. Under choice no-fault plans, the insured can choose whether to be covered on a modified no-fault basis or on an add-on plan basis. This system provides additional flexibility to the pricing structure and options available to the insured drivers. Well, as you can see, no-fault plans are a key element to the insurance coverage provided by companies in our industry. I encourage you to read more about this important topic. Thanks very much. I'm Bob Dillamartre.